Watch through the end to see exactly how much this repair will cost you. If your Toyota's engine oil looks like this, you're not alone. Thousands of Toyota owners are seeing this warning. But there's an official Toyota bulletin that explains exactly what's happening. I'm going to break down Toyota Technical Service Bulletin TSB010421, what it means for your car, and most importantly, what it's going to cost you to get it fixed. Chapter 1. The Problem Explained Before we dive in, make sure you watch through the end of this video. I'm going to break down the full repair bill part by part and show you exactly how much this fix cost. You'll want to see this. This is Toyota Technical Service Bulletin TSB010421, Revision 2, updated February 15, 2024. This document is the official playbook from Toyota sent to its dealership technicians on how to diagnose and repair a very specific problem. Now this is important. This is a technical service bulletin, or TSB, not a recall. A recall is typically issued for a widespread safety defect, and the manufacturer is legally required to perform the repair for free. A TSB, on the other hand, is simply official guidance for a known, non-safety critical issue. And here's the crucial part. Toyota explicitly marks this bulletin, not applicable to warranty. That phrase means that while Toyota acknowledges the problem and has a fix, they are not obligated to pay for it outside of the vehicle's standard warranty period. If your car is out of warranty, the cost of this repair falls directly on you. So what exactly is happening here? The problem is triggered by a perfect storm of conditions, specifically, prolonged periods of extreme cold combined with a pattern of frequent short-distance driving. On a short trip, your engine never gets hot enough to reach its optimal operating temperature. During normal operation, combustion gases, known as blow-by, slip past the piston rings and enter the crankcase. This is normal, and these gases contain a lot of water vapor. Your car's positive crankcase ventilation, or PCV system, is designed to pull these vapors out, but it only works efficiently when the engine oil is hot enough to keep the water as vapor. On cold short trips that water vapor condenses and mixes directly with the engine oil. This creates a thick milky mayonnaise-like sludge, a process called emulsification. This gunk is a terrible lubricant and is the first major warning sign. The real danger occurs when you park the car and the temperature drops well below freezing. The water trapped in that sludge turns to ice, forming a blockage at the oil pump pickup screen. The next time you start your engine, this ice dam starves the oil pump, causing a catastrophic drop in oil pressure. Your dashboard will light up with warnings. Ignoring this, even for a moment, can lead to complete and irreversible engine failure. This affects Toyota models with the A25AFKS, A25AFXS 2.5 liter, or M20AFKS, M20AFXS 2.0 liter dynamic force engines. We're talking roughly 2018 through 2024 model years. That includes Camry and Camry Hybrid, Corolla, Corolla Hatchback, Corolla Cross, RAV4, RAV4 Hybrid, RAV4 Prime, Highlander Hybrid, Sienna Hybrid, Venza Hybrid, Prius, Prius Prime, Crown, Grand Highlander Hybrid, and Avalon Hybrid. The February 2024 revision added 2024 models to the applicability. So how do you know if your Toyota is suffering from this? According to Toyota's own technical service bulletin, there are three primary indicators technicians are trained to look for. First, and most visually alarming, is milky or discolored engine oil, found on the dipstick or oil cap. This isn't just discoloration, it's severe oil emulsification, a creamy coffee-colored sludge. This happens when water gets forcefully mixed into the oil, creating a thick goo that can't properly lubricate your engine's delicate internal components, dramatically accelerating wear. Second is a stark warning on your dashboard, the oil pressure low message on the multi-information display. This is a critical alert that your engine is being starved of lubrication. It happens because that emulsified sludgy oil has partially frozen in the oil pan, physically blocking the oil pump's pickup screen. The pump simply can't draw the thick, icy gunk through the mesh to circulate it. Third, technicians will find specific diagnostic trouble codes. The main culprits are P05202A and P052477. P05202A means the engine oil pressure sensor signal is stuck, likely because the sensor is gummed up with sludge. The more critical code, P052477, confirms engine oil pressure is too low and the condition is severe. This is the ECU confirming that catastrophic engine damage is possible if you keep driving. The root cause is a perfect storm, extreme cold combined with lots of short trips. All engines produce blow-by. 
combustion gases with water vapor that slip past the piston rings. Normally, the PCV system removes this moisture once the engine is hot, but on short trips, the oil never gets hot enough to boil off the water. It accumulates in the oil pan, and when parked in freezing temperatures, it turns into an icy slush. On the next cold start, the oil pump can't circulate this frozen sludge, pressure plummets, and the warnings appear. When a customer brings in a vehicle with milky-looking engine oil, Toyota dealers don't just guess. They follow a very specific diagnostic path laid out in Technical Service Bulletin TSB009420. A TSB isn't a recall, it's an official guide for technicians providing a step-by-step -step procedure to accurately diagnose and resolve a known condition. In this case, the condition is engine oil that looks like a coffee shop latte, a problem that has understandably caused a lot of concern for owners. The goal of this bulletin is to differentiate between a simple, benign issue and a catastrophic engine failure. The first step is crucial and starts with confirming the customer's complaint by checking the oil's appearance on the dipstick. If it's milky, the technician immediately proceeds to pressure test the cooling system. This is the most critical fork in the diagnostic road. Milky oil is the classic textbook symptom of a blown head gasket or a cracked cylinder head where engine coolant is forced into the oil passages. By pressurizing the cooling system and seeing if it holds that pressure, the technician can definitively rule out an internal coolant leak. If the system fails the pressure test and a leak is found, this specific TSB no longer applies. The problem is much more severe and the technician will switch to the standard factory service manual to diagnose and repair the coolant leak, which often involves major engine disassembly. But if the cooling system holds pressure perfectly, it confirms the water in the oil is not coming from the cooling system, and the technician can proceed with the TSB. The next step addresses any electronic warnings. If the oil pressure low warning is on, or if diagnostic trouble codes like P0520 for an engine oil pressure sensor circuit fault are stored in the engine's computer, the technician's first action is to clear them. The emulsified sludgy oil can temporarily clog the oil pump pickup screen or simply be too thick when cold, causing a momentary drop in pressure that triggers these warnings. Clearing the codes establishes a clean slate for the next test. Then, they warm the engine until the coolant reaches a precise temperature of 122 degrees Fahrenheit or 50 degrees Celsius. For hybrid models, this requires activating a special inspection and maintenance mode, which forces the gasoline engine to run continuously instead of shutting off at idle. This controlled warm-up is designed to see if the oil pressure warnings immediately return under specific repeatable conditions. If the warning light or DTCs come back during that warm-up, it indicates the contaminated oil is consistently causing a problem. The procedure is then to replace the engine oil and install a new oil filter. After the oil change, they clear the DTCs again and repeat the warm-up procedure to 122 degrees. If the codes do return with the fresh oil, it confirms the entire issue was caused by the contaminated oil and not a faulty sensor or failing oil pump. As a final step in this path, they thoroughly inspect and clean any remaining milky residue from the oil filler cap and valve cover area and perform a final check of the dipstick to confirm the new oil is clean and clear. But what if there was only milky oil, with no warning lights or codes to begin with? This is the most common scenario, often found by owners during routine checks. In this case, the procedure is much simpler. Just replace the oil and filter and clean the residue from the cap. This happens because the root cause isn't a mechanical failure at all, but a combination of chemistry and driving habits. Water is a natural byproduct of internal combustion. In normal long-distance driving the engine oil gets hot enough, well over 212 degrees Fahrenheit, to boil off this water, which is then safely vented out as steam through the positive crankcase ventilation or PCV system. However, during short trips, especially in cold, humid weather, the engine oil never reaches a high enough temperature to burn off this moisture. Instead, the water vapor condenses inside the cold crankcase and mixes with the oil. Modern engine oils contain detergents and additives that can act as emulsifiers, whipping the oil and water together into that thick, creamy, mayonnaise-like substance. It accumulates on the coolest, highest parts of the engine, like the oil filler cap, which is why it's often noticed there first. To complete the service, Toyota specifies using genuine parts. An oil filter, part number 90915YZN1, and a new drain plug gasket, part number 90430, 12031. 
Most importantly, they mandate refilling with the correct ultra-low viscosity oil, either SAE 0W16 or the even thinner 0W8, depending on the model. Using the correct oil is critical for ensuring proper engine function and fuel economy, and following this procedure restores the engine to its proper operating state, free of contamination. If you see oil pressure low, don't drive hard. Low oil pressure can damage the engine. Get it checked immediately. In very cold weather, try to include periodic longer drives so the engine and oil reach full operating temperature. This gives enough time to evaporate moisture. If the oil looks milky, have the dealer or tech perform the pressure test and follow the oil and filter procedure from the TSB. So here's what it might cost to have this problem fixed. You're looking at around $60 to $120 for the oil and filter change, plus $100 to $150 for diagnostic time. That's a total of roughly $160 to $270. Remember, this isn't covered under warranty since it's marked as not applicable to warranty in the TSB. If this video helped you understand your Toyota's oil pressure issue, please give it a like. Leave a comment with your experience, and don't forget to subscribe for more automotive technical breakdowns like this one.